Following is a candid testimonial. The subject matter discussed may be sensitive to some viewers. Hello, I am Maxine. I was actually in the previous quarter of the shadow work. Um, believe me, if you're sitting here wondering, I don't know if I should attend the shadow work class, I highly recommend it. I actually remember telling Winnie, Winnie probably remembers, I was like, you know, Winnie, I don't know if I should take your class because I feel like I already know everything. And Winnie was like, that's the shadow of arrogance. And I'm like, yes, that's the shadow of arrogance. And I can tell you, it is one thing I don't regret. Um, my family and I went through some of the darkest, darkest times. My family was literally falling apart. I am 24, so we're talking about my grandparent passing, almost passing away, my parents divorcing, my brother being possibly suicidal. I was finishing my master's degree, um, and I was very much in the same place as Winnie, you know, manipulative, scarcity mindset, arrogant, wait, arrogant, as I just said earlier. <laughs> um, and I want to say that I wasn't sure if attending the shadow classes was doing any benefit for me in the beginning, but then I can tell you, as Winnie says, and as the book writes, the body keeps score. And in the meditations, it felt like, I don't know if these meditations are doing anything to me cognitively, but the body keeps score. And I can tell you, it felt like every single week, some sort of trash was being taken out from my body. Um, and if you're not into woo woo things, that's totally okay. If you are, then this is for you. Um, this is when, you know, when I asked Jay, I was like, Jay, what's going on with me? I'm being super sensitive to everything in my family. I feel like I was, I, somebody called, one of my mom's sisters called, and I, and I knew that phone call was, her husband passed away from COVID. And I told Jay, I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> and then this is when Jay told me, um, this is your gifts coming into power. And I truly believe that as, when you begin to take the stuff, the trash that's being held in your body, that you don't know that's being held in your body, things start moving. And I feel like if you're coming into your gifts, that is just evidence of that. Yeah. And the final thing I want to say, um, I was just in Taiwan, so my family is from Taiwan. Um, I speak Chinese very fluently. You're not going to get somebody else like Winnie to be able to teach you these things on a knowledge and level of like oriental and like orthodontal things together. And the one thing I do want to leave off this note is, you know, we say give and love unconditionally. But what does that really feel like? And I want to express that by saying, um, I was raised by my grandmother. These five, five months I've been through was four generations of trauma starting from my grandpa's mom. And my grandma was very manipulative, a really big control freak and passed it down to me. And my grandmother is my father's mother. So my mom lived with her in-law and she refused for us to hire a caretaker. And my mom had hepatitis B from exhaustion. She had stage three kidney failure from her exhaustion and she's on her way to get cancer. And my grandmother came to tell us, it's your turn to take care of me now. You need to take me back to the US and take care of me. Mm -hmm. And I exploded and I said, my mom's going to get cancer. And she said, well, that's not a big deal. And at the end of the day, you know, my grandmother is very unhappy. She was saved through death's door twice. In Chinese, we call Hell's Gate. And that's when I realized I wish my grandmother could change. I want her to be happy because I dearly love her. But I know she won't change. And she just said it's okay for my mom to get cancer. God forbid. And then that's when I realized, but I still love her. That just can't change. And that kind of love you feel deep down, despite saying your mom should be, it's okay to get cancer, it's unexplainable. And I feel like I would not be able to be at that capacity because you're so angry, your ego is angry, rightfully so. But allowing that anger and then realizing, but I, I just can't stay angry, but I also can't let my grandma do whatever she wants to my mom is a form of power that I feel like I was able to step into after taking many times. Sign up now on mindfulhealingheart.com slash group dash healing. Love you so much, and I look forward to leading you in your healing journey.